Hello everybody, welcome back to another ChatGPT tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to give ChatGPT real-time search access. And it's super easy and it's free. So basically, for those of you that don't know, ChatGPT is trained up until the end of 2020. One. That's when the data for ChatGPT is ended. And if I type something in here, and I'll show you this in real time so you know I'm not kidding you. Um, what year, uh, or how old, here we go, how old is Queen Elizabeth II? Now, for those of you who don't know, she just passed away uh, a little while ago here. And uh, in this one, it says, yeah, she was born in 26, and she's 95 years old at the as of September 2021. So that proves that ChatGPT only goes up to the end of 2021. If I click a new chat and I click this little button here, web access, and you'll see here, uh, I've got a web access and I'm using this here. It's called web chat GPT. It's a free Chrome extension. Let me ask the same question. How old is Queen Elizabeth? And watch this, the second. When I ask it again, you'll see here that first off, while it types out its response, it's given me five different uh, internet quotes here, or not quotes really, but like references or sources. So I've got it here set to web access five results. So it's going to give me the best five results. And then when we look at the answer, Queen Elizabeth was born as of current date. She has passed away on September 8th, 2022 at the age of 96. The first time we asked it without the internet search access, it did not, it, it assumed that it was still alive or it did not know the exact information. So this shows you that this is the real deal. Now, let me show you where you can get it. Here's the link. Basically, it's called Web Chat GPT, and it's basically Chat GPT with internet access. That's its whole thing. I'm going to put a link in the description below. All you need to do is just turn this button on and it's up here. So if you're not, if you don't see it, just click on your little jigsaw and it's a Google Chrome extension. And then just go in here and then go to manage extensions. Make sure it's turned on. So right here, off, on. And presto, there you'll see it. And that's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching.